talked already uh, about uh, the effects of this uh, on on families. Can you talk a little bit more specifically about the impact of this on children? Yes, sir. Uh, that's very near and dear to my heart, of course, the George Apple seed, and the impact is really profound and can't be overstated. So, um, first of all, these evictions and threat, you know, the threat of eviction, eviction violence has a tremendous psychological effect on a parent if it's then in a certain state, you know, they're in a state of constant emergency, so there's a, a lot of stress associated with that. Um, but involuntary moves caused by eviction have measurable, well-studied, and negative impacts on children. There's learning loss every time there's a move. There are behavior challenges that appear after several moves. Um, these impacts also affect their classmates. There's uh, something called school mobility, which has been measured a great deal. And the, the more school mobility that a school experiences, in other words, the more children they have in the classroom during the year, um, the, the, the worse the effect on their classmates, uh, as well as on teacher morale and teacher retention. So the communities end up paying the costs so so the, all of us have uh, uh, reason to, to want to curb the activities of these bad actors. We all have uh, something at stake here, whether it impacts us directly or not. You know, not to say whatever well, that's what you want to That's all. That's so I've introduced legislation to make down payments more affordable for the first time, the first generation of all buyers. Uh, support affordable mm -hmm. housing construction and transparency of restrictions for building mm -hmm. homes. At the same time, we've got to do something to address these mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Senator Warnock. Senator Cortez Masto from Nevada is calling for office. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. 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 Thank you, Mr. Universally are stressed. Uh, it's very hard to find applicants. 